What's up my long, armed, bastards? It's your boy, Bergoglio, and today I'm going to talk about why Xenovis is totally a better game than Dragon Ball Fighter ZZZ. Are you sure about that? Um, oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh fuck. Can you bring back the Dragon Ball timeline and restore those epic battles to the legends of history? Then take back the Dragon Ball world! Dragon Ball Xenoverse! I don't know if anybody remembers when they first saw the trailer for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the original one, not two. But I remember being so excited, filled with an excitement that I hadn't had since childhood. An excitement of a Dragon Ball game that came, was coming out soon that looked just fantastic. It looked like nothing I'd ever seen before. It looked like the kind of Dragon Ball game that I could play for hours on end. I mean, I was one of the people that had never heard of Dragon Ball Heroes. So, to me, this was the first create your own character type of Dragon Ball Z game that had been come out in forever. The first one that I've ever known of, and creating my character and hopping into the world, the huge lexicon of Dragon Ball Z and fighting uh, against and right next to some of my favorite characters was one of the most satisfying gaming experiences I've had in a very long time. Progressing through the Xenoverse story mode and watching my custom created own character of my design pop in and out of some of the greatest Dragon Ball events of all time while growing stronger and simultaneously collecting some of the greatest moves and techniques of Dragon Ball history was just a gaming experience I'll keep near and dear to my heart for forever. Then finally, my character had reached the maximum level I could get to. It was time. I had mastered my technique. I had mastered many moves from many great artists. It was time to take my character and all that I'd learned and go online and kick some serious booty. What's that? No. Oh, that's not right. Why would someone do that? Ah! Oh no! Wait, please! What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh God! Why? Why? Why would anyone do that? That doesn't seem fair or balanced. Why? Oh God! No! Oh dear Savior in heaven! Why? Why can't I punch this budget? What is happening? Who would program this? Is this fair? Who said this is balanced? You can't even spell balance. What am I doing? What is my life? Now, despite Xenoverse 1 being a truly amazing game, actually the most successful Dragon Ball game to date when it was released, it honestly really was lacking in the online department. While playing online, if you used any of the cast characters like Goku, Piccolo, or Vegeta, all their moves, their stats, their supers, their ultimates, and their Z-Souls, they were called back in the day, were perfectly balanced. There were no issues across the board. But once you went online and you applied some of these super attacks, ultimates, and Z-Souls to these custom characters with way different and higher stats than the regular characters you can get in base game, things became very broken very fast. Never mind the fact that the whole game was run on a peer-to-peer -peer system instead of having dedicated servers, which was essentially the same thing as trying to run a RuneScape on a dial-up server. You had to deal with a game that's online PvP was so inherently unbalanced, a single super ultimate Z Soul or sometimes even race would break the game to the point where you had to wait for a patch to enjoy any kind of online competitive play unless you were playing your friends. Like it was it was the wild west of Xenoverse, it really was. But despite all that, it was still truly a fantastic game. It brought me a lot of fun. I met a lot of cool people on that game, and I had some genuine fun with a Dragon Ball Z title that I hadn't had in years. And you can visibly see what kind of an impact it had by scrolling over to YouTube in the early days of Xenoverse 1 and looking up videos. I mean, these videos people were putting out were just the most cancerous, tumor-filled nonsense I've ever seen. 
there were so many people playing this game, and they, these people were playing it to such an extent that people were acting like this bare bones MMO with fighting game aspects was a huge fighting game like Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Imagine this, there were people that were so passionate about Xenoverse 1 that they were taking it to competitive level. That would be like me posting exposed videos of people that play gang beasts. I always thought it was so ridiculous, but looking back on it now, it just makes me realize just how successful of a game Xenoverse 1 really was. Despite all its flaws, it was a very influential game and one of my favorites. But it was a good start to the franchise, a good start. But then, just over the horizon, we all saw it. Xenoverse 2 in its glorious sequel-like glory. Now the first Xenoverse game may have paved the way for the series, but when Xenoverse 2 was released in October of 2016, it was immediately clear that the improvements made to this game made the old Xenoverse look like a beta test. I cannot emphasize enough just how much better of a game Xenoverse 2 was than 1. With the release of Xenoverse 2, I really understood the devs of the game were listening, hearing, and applying the things that the community was telling them to do. Not only did they improve the overall hit detection by making the hitboxes significantly bigger, they also increased the balance between all races, except for male modules, rest in peace. They fixed the Saiyan's ridiculous ability to spam everything and anything they could while in Super Saiyan, and to top it all off, only a few weeks after the game's released, they released one of the most glorious patches I've ever seen, fixing all of the broken moves that plagued the first games online. No, seriously, those were just the big issues that plagued the first game. They also added so many more new things and features that helped flesh the game out, make it seem like it was developing as a series. But wait! There's more! It isn't over yet! A new, bigger overworld, with the ability to unlock vehicles and finally fly scripted events in that new overworld. Twice the number of parallel quests, including ones that can drop a total of six Dragon Balls at once, and the ability to fight other time patrollers created custom created characters. Weekly raid missions for rare gear. Awakening skills for every race, not just the Saiyans. A larger character roster. Dokkan Battle, I mean Dragon Ball here, I mean Deliberate Cash Grab, <coughs> I mean Hero Coliseum mode. It isn't over yet! Expert quests, where six players could all face a boss at once for rare loot, with missions ranging in difficulty from casual to oh my god what the hell is happening! They even made major improvements to the fighting aspect. They implemented a new stamina break system that fundamentally changed the way the game worked. The ability to use two ultimates and not just one. QQ Bangs, a customizable item you could equip to your character that would let you not only customize your character's stats, but you could do it separately from their outfit, which was not an option in the first game. Tons of new mentors, moves to unlock, clothing to equip, and items to help customize your character. The list goes on and on, but that's just the stuff I could think of offhand. I mean, I didn't even address the six DLC packs that they released. And to be honest, I could sit here and talk to you all day about the improvements from Xenoverse 1 to 2, and just what a great game Xenoverse 2 ended up being, despite its flaws. But that's not really the reason I made this video. Yes, I love the first Xenoverse and the second one, but the most recent Dragon Ball game that has been released is not Xenoverse 3, but Dragon Ball Z Fighters, an entirely different type of video game. Dragon Ball Z Fighters is the most recent Dragon Ball fighting game to be released, and the next generation of Dragon Ball Z fighting games. This time around, they went with a classic 2D fighting style game with an original character and story by Akira Toriyama himself. So not only do we get new content from the, the, the main man, Akira Toriyama himself, but the combos and a lot of the ultimate attacks that the characters use are, are, are straight copies of the show, which is just really cool to see as you're fighting with that character. And the combat is extremely satisfying. Honestly, I'm not a very good at fighting games, but even games that I lost, I generally enjoyed playing. It's a fun game. It seems balanced. And if I could get it some chances to get better at it, I think I would really enjoy playing this game, despite not being the best at fighting games. So, to quickly sum up this game, the game looks good, feels good to play, the combat is extremely balanced, and the storyline is very interesting. I think one of my favorite things about this game is the little what-if dialogues you get with characters who never would have got a chance to talk otherwise. It's really cool to see what, like, Nappa would have said to Cell, or what Frieza would have said to the androids. Now, I know I didn't give a nearly as in-depth review of Fighters as I did the Xenoverse games, but that's simply because I have a lot more hours under my belt in the Xenoverse games than I do Fighters. 
Fighters is a new game and I haven't gotten that a lot of time to play it yet, but I did get a very good understanding of what the game's about. So with all that being said, we can finally get to the main point of why I made this video, and that is that Xenoverse 2 is not better than Dragon Ball Fighters, and Dragon Ball Fighters is not better than Xenoverse 2. While they both may be Dragon Ball games with the core game mechanic being fighting and everything else being built around it, that's pretty much where the similarities end for these two games. One key difference between the two is balance. Honestly, Xenoverse 1 and 2 were not ever a very balanced game, but Fighters on the other hand is extremely balanced and it's actually the first Dragon Ball game that's be being considered for competitive play since, I don't know, maybe Budokai? While Xenoverse may have had a ton of other features just besides fighting, it wasn't a fighting game. It was, I don't know, maybe an MMO with fighting game aspects. It wasn't really an MMO, it wasn't really a fighting game, it was Xenoverse, it was something completely different. Fighters is it's, it's really just a rear run of the mill fighting game. It's a very good fighting game, but it's exactly what you expect. Nothing but fighting. The storyline is fighting, online is fighting, there's an arcade mode that's just fighting. But that's how fighting games are, and if you make a good fighting game, that's all you'll ever need, which I think Fighters has down pretty well. In the end, it really doesn't make sense to compare two great games that aren't really in the same genre. I personally am more of a fan of Xenoverse 2, and I'm holding out for when Xenoverse 3 comes out, because if they make the same amount of improvements they did from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, that game is going to be amazing. And on the other hand, I'm sure there have been some fighting game fans that have been just been dying for a good Dragon Ball fighting game again. And now with the release of Fighters, they have it. So if you like Xenoverse for its various different game modes, features, and character customizability, or you like Fighters for its amazing graphics, very well put together game mechanics, and amazing storyline, you can know that there's something out there for everyone. And if you think one game is better than the other, just might be your opinion. Remember, there doesn't always have to be the best game, but you can always have a favorite game. But uh, that pretty much wraps up my video and my stupid opinion, but whoo, I'm done. Oh yes. Wow, making this video took a lot longer than I thought it would, and I put way more effort than I usually put in my videos making this. So, leave me a like, guys. Show me some love. What are your opinions? What, what do you think is a better game? Xenoverse 2 or Fighters? And why? Leave it in the comments. I hope you liked this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you enjoy. This has been the Great Burke Holio. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.